Welcome to Arts Alive of York County. I'm Patty Mercer and today we're filming at the Arts Council of York County Community Performance Center, which is located on East Main Street in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Joining me today, I have Butch Anepo. How are you? I'm good. Now, what we're going to talk about today is a little about you. So first of all, tell me about Butch. Well, I started playing music uh, in the early 60s when I was a teenager. The first band started in 1964. It was called uh, Swinging Palisades, a little town of Edgemore, which is about eight miles south here in Chester County. I uh, grew up in this area, started playing in bars in 1964, and uh, went through college, got out of college, went on the road with the band of Charlotte of Sugar Creek. Yeah. Early 70s, that yeah. were real popular. Mm -hmm. Stayed with them two or three years, and then got a job at the state. Retired five years ago from the South Carolina School of Wow. Now playing uh, pretty much full time with my brother David, with the Onepo Brothers. And we have a four piece band, the Onepo Brothers Band, and we play Spicy Bond. That's great, and definitely a treat for us in the York County area because, I mean, even like the Strawberry Festival, you've played there. We've played there several times. Yeah. Now, obviously, you're a musician at heart, so it's with you. It's been with you your whole life. What opportunities do you find here local to play? There are a lot more opportunities now than there were when we started out in the 60s. Uh, even so, in the early 90s, we were having to go down to Charleston, Bobby Beach area, you know, now play other places like that, Columbia, uh, Charlotte. But now with places like uh, uh, Baxter, here in Rock Hill, New York, uh, the whole area is just it's, it's booming. It really is. It's, Right Definitely. How has the internet helped? The internet has been really helpful, especially Facebook. Uh, our fan base double tripled in the last few years since we've gone on there. And that's what we're playing. Everybody's right. like, it's fuzzy. We didn't know you were playing last week, and we know it's like on Facebook. It's right there every day. So, uh, it keeps it really simple. It does. It really does. You know, and on Facebook, there's a place where you can go and learn information about bands and individuals. Tell me something about you that I couldn't read on Facebook. Something about me that you couldn't read on Facebook. Um, I don't put my life history out there like most people do. <laughs> <laughs> I try to keep it pretty low key. Uh, I don't know. I just I, I like the outdoors. I, Mm -hmm. Music is my pretty much my life. It's your passion. It's and it sounds like you also have a passion for York County and the arts. Yes, I do. I was I was born here you know, uh, many years ago. What year? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I really do. I like to see the like the center here. Uh, there's just so many things that are flourishing. Trying to get everything going downtown again, mm -hmm. revitalized mm -hmm. in the whole county. So it's uh, so exciting. Definitely. Now, what about your personal goals coming up? Personal goals, just to keep on rocking and rolling. And, uh, I'm also a coordinator uh, with my uh, songwriting friend and buddy, Tim Jones, who owns Woody Easy. <laughs> we are coordinators of the Nashville Songwriters Association here in town. It's out of Nashville, Tennessee. We meet once a month, uh, Thursdays to restaurant uh, for uh, songwriters, anybody that's interested in writing, legend songwriters, veterans, and just that's really great. I was going to ask you, like, what advice you would have to young writers and young artists? Uh, come to meetings like ours, uh, learn the craft, buy books, uh, especially the ones that are very popular. Just research on Google mm -hmm. and uh, see what's you know, some of the good ones here because there's a lot of good stuff out there. Yeah. But uh, there's a lot, it's a craft to it. It's, it's, a, it's a real craft to it. Just keep sure. writing. And writing and playing and practicing and yeah. opportunities to play, just get out there and do get it. Get out there and do it. Learn yourself. Just the network. Just the yeah, network. yeah. And learn from those that have gone before. Absolutely. Learn from those and, and listen and ask questions and advice. Mm -hmm. You don't always have to take it. Uh, just like in songwriting, somebody might have a suggestion, it might be a good one, it might not be a go with you, you got to it. Well, I think so much about music and art is intuitive, and yet, like like you said, you have to be open to listening to good, sound wisdom. Yes, you do. And, and listen to all genres of music. Mm -hmm. uh, I think something like X and Radio, uh, some of the uh, internet radio stations, 
play with certain genres. Check those out because mm -hmm. you'll be surprised at what you find in here, which can influence yourself. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, uh, let's just review for our audience. To find you, they would go to Facebook. They would go to Facebook. Uh, we have one that's uh, the Oneppo Brothers Band. And let's spell that. O-N-E-P-P-O. Okay. It's Italian. I like uh, it. And my brother David and I have a duo. And we also have a fourth piece band uh, on guitar, Steve Johnson in Rock Hill, on drums, Mark Neal, my oh. brother David on bass, and vocals, my cell phone. Guitar, Fantastic. Well, Butch, thank you so much oh, for joining us today. My pleasure. Thank you for having me today. And definitely go check out the Aneppo Brother. Thanks again for joining us on Arts Alive here in York County as we go and learn more about the stories and the performance behind the people making things happen. Uh, art is alive here in York County. So join us next time and we will discover it together.